Welcome to the first episode of RC Car Mods. How are you all doing out there? Uh, I'm going to endeavour to take you through some easy to do and some more difficult mods on your remote control cars. Um, if many of you are like me, you don't have the space or you don't have the uh, money, I guess, to do it on a real car, let's do it on a remote control car. Here we go. Oh, and by the way, it's not actually crooked. I think I've just set the mount up crooked. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get out some trusty pliers and take the old top off. Here we go, nice and easy. If you haven't done this to your remote control car already, don't be afraid, it's not a scary process. Four clips, take it off, there's the inside of your car, put that over here. And now we have the shell, which we're going to use, again, you can buy new shells, but because this is cheap car mods, we're going to use this old one and show you how to do it. Now you can keep these stickers, I don't know if I'm going to use them again. They should quite easily peel off. Continue this for all stickers. Five out. Other side mirror. What do they do when they do it on the, the real car mods? They just throw it on the floor. No worries. Uh, the little front ones. Now I'm actually not sure if I'm going to use this again. Keep them anyway. There you have it. Now I've obviously previously painted this red. We're going to do something a little bit cooler next time. You know, I wasn't sure if I'm going to use these windows um, or the grill or anything like that again. Um, but the next thing we need to do is we need to strip all this old nail polish off. So what we've got here is a bit of mineral terps or methylated spirits, either or. Um, I also actually heard that Dettol will work. It's a little bit more safe um, if, you, if you're young or, you know, um, a little bit more safe, it will buy less of your, your model. So I might check that out in a later episode, but for now we're gonna use some mineral terps. I've got a little scourer here, a little old one, and a little bowl for us to put our mineral terps into. And now it should be as simple as putting it over the car. Okay, so hold the phone. Um, I'm not going to continue on. I could have continued on with the... Uh, with the instructional video and just acted like it really did work, but it didn't work. Mineral terps doesn't work, so don't use it. Um, what you need to do is get onto your girlfriend, fiance, wife, daughter, whatever it is, get some nail polish remover uh, and use that. But be very, very careful because if you use it all and don't replace it, you could be in a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. Back to the blog. So now with the nail polish, things can get back underway. Here we go.
So let's have a look at prepping some of the details uh, for the inside. So we're going to need to stick them on the windows of the inside when we are ready to paint. These ones here, which I peeled off earlier, are probably sticky enough. As you see, they're all sticky enough. So we'll just stick them back on the inside. Um, this one here, though, unfortunately, I stuck on last time under the paint, as you can see here so it's got a lot of paint on it uh, and I'm going to show you how we're going to use this as a template um, to make a clear grill at the front of our car what I will use is just standard tape so painters tape here nice and blue we'll rip that off and that should just go over the top, if I had it correct. And that will stick simply over the top of our detail there. So you can hopefully see that it's on stuck straight over the top. And then all we're going to do, use a pair of scissors and cut it out. Leaving a little bit on the edge so that we can stick it on using the tape. That will become our front grill. It'll be a little bit bigger, but I think that's cool and it'll be rad. Something I'm also going to do, and this just came to me, was I'm actually going to reduce the body on the car. So it's a fairly novice, um, but as you can see, each car has on here, or maybe you can't see, but you always have these little pins, and you can just choose whether you want to go up or lower. Me, I prefer low real cars, so why not have a low RC car? Gonna look rad. So I found my fiance's secret stash of nail polish remover and I could finish removing the paint from the car. And there you go. Now, as you see, there is still a little bit of white left on it, but when the spray goes up on it, hopefully you can see that. It's not gonna look too bad. I've gone with a, I'm gonna go with a light spray color because um, that way the white won't make too much of a bigger difference. Use some household detergent, warm water, and a scourer to wipe off any grease on the inside to help the paint stick. Now, washed and dry, we are ready to mask it up. Gonna be rad. Simply place the stickers we removed before on the inside of the car. This will stop the paint from sticking to the areas you don't want them to. Ready for a first light coat.
So what I've actually decided to is when I was cleaning it, I couldn't get all the black stuff off uh, the edge here. So I'm going to keep that black and repaint the inside. Uh, and I'm going to use some black nail polish to do it. It's a bit of a thought as I was kind of going, you know. Um, a bit of a Aristos thought. Do you guys remember Aristos? He was uh, that chef that used to go into everyone's home and uh, just go straight into the cupboards and whatever you had to cook with, he would make some magnificent five course meal or something something like that. Um, just straight out of the stuff you had in your kitchen, you know. Just call it Aristos. There's my little Aristos wing, looking mad. Now it's time to spray. Start with an initial light coat. You can come back three, four times, slowly filling in the gaps. But light coat is very, very important, so don't forget to start light and then come back. And remember, if you're a RC mod ninja, you don't wear gloves. black to go behind it, help us fill in the gap uh, and give it some pop. So, there you have it. My silver and black specked custom paint job. Now you will get a little bit of overspray. You can tape it off. But I find when it has just set, if you uh, go along again with your girlfriend's nail polish, you can quite easily just rub all that off. And there you have it. And now what we'll do is we'll take the stickers or the masking uh, off from the inside. It's smart to have a bit of newspaper because when you throw it off, you don't want it landing on your uh, EBU table. So, a pair of tweezers. See? Now there is going to be a little bit of slippage. So get your Rad Mod Ninja nail polish remover and a cotton wool bud and chop suey it off. What the? There you see, finished product. Nice clean window, straight edges, beautiful. Continue this process across all other windows. Even the best RC Mod Ninja has their bad days. I dropped the cotton bud in there. Use the tweezers, dropped them in as well. Move on.
go. I've cleaned the windows out, but as you can see, they haven't come out quite as well as I would like them to. But that's all right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of backing on them. So what I've got here, a bit of fly, fly screen, fly wire, and we'll cut that into shape, stick it on the back, and that will give it some depth. <laughs> Use some clear double-sided tape, cut into small pieces to assemble the fly screen onto your windows. that out mad final touches complete Looking rad. Bing. Add some stickers to the outside, and as the Italian ninja would say, you now have the piso resistance. I prefer to go with ninja style. Thanks for watching RC Car Mods with the RC Ninja. I hope you've got your car looking rad. Stay tuned and subscribe because the next video we're going to show you how to make an RC Car Dyno.